There is now a $15,000 reward for information about a man's brutal murder. It's been more than a month since someone shot and killed Jonathan Castillo. He was just trying to pick up his three-year-old daughter, and since then, leads have been few and far between. But Jonathan's mother told News 2's My Owens tonight she's hopeful this reward will lead them to justice. Sorry. It's been over a month. We, do, we deserve justice. And Jackie Aritzia is still left with questions after her firstborn son, Jonathan Castillo, was shot and killed. Not knowing who did this and why they did this. And the only reason why he was out there that late was because his ex-girlfriend worked late nights. So that was the only way that he can get his daughter. According to Metro Police, Castillo was parked outside of his ex-girlfriend's home where he was picking up his daughter. A witness then told police two gunmen wearing masks walked by Castillo's car. Moments later, shots were fired. I need peace in my heart. And I know my son is resting, but I'm his voice. And I need to do this for him. And I want whoever knows anything out there to please come to please come forward now the family is offering a fifteen thousand dollar reward for information leading to an arrest to hopefully bring closure to this deadly incident i pray every night every night every night that someone does come clean and someone does come up and say something we don't want these people to be out there hurting anybody else anybody else's Son, brother. Officers found Castillo unresponsive inside his car. He was taken to Vanderbilt University Medical Center where he died. His family hoping the community will step up and help solve this mystery. The Hispanic community is very small and everyone knows each other. And I would really like for the Hispanic community to come forward too. You know, it's, we're not going to stop. We're going to keep going until someone comes clean and so someone gets caught. And the family plans on going back to where Jonathan was shot and killed to hand out flyers encouraging anyone with information to come forward. That will happen Saturday morning between 10 a.m. and noon. His mom also reminding the public you can give anonymous tips to Crime Stoppers at 615-74-CRIME.